When it comes to baking bread, the dirty little secret is I have too short an attention span. All that kneading and rising and watching and waiting. I just want a bread that you can make in one process, and that's why I love Irish soda bread. So, I need four cups of flour, a quarter of a cup of sugar, just to make it a little sweet. There's no kneading, no rising, just put it all in the mixer. I need one and a half teaspoons of salt. And one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, just get that a little stir. Next is the butter. So I need half a stick of butter. This really is like making scones. The butter keeps it really nice and flaky. And just mix it until the butter's like the size of peas. Next, wet ingredients. One and three quarter cups of buttermilk. One egg. I'm just gonna mix them together in the measuring cup. I love measuring cups. They're great for mixing. And then you can pour it right from there. And one teaspoon of grated orange zest. Just mix it up with a fork. Just so the egg yolk is broken. It's always a good idea to do it when the mixer's on, because then it mixes in really well. Otherwise, it just sits on the bottom. It's gonna be really wet dough, so you wanna work fast. Okay, now the last thing, classic Irish soda bread, is currants. So I have a cup of currants. And I always add a tablespoon of flour. It keeps the currants from sort of sinking to the bottom of the dough. You want them well distributed. Okay, I'm just gonna put it right into the mixture. Don't overmix it. You just want to make sure everything's incorporated, but don't overbeat it. Okay. This is one sticky dough, but that makes delicious Irish soda bread. So I'm just going to dump it all on a floured board. Don't worry about overflowering it. It's a very wet dough, so you're going to knead it. And this is why I like Irish soda bread. Regular bread, you have to knead it, and then you have to let it rise, and then you have to punch it down, and. It's such a process. Irish soda bread, you pull it together, put it in the oven, you're done. Just give it a nice cross on the top, not too deep, but just deep enough so that you'll see it when it bakes. So it looks like one big hot cross bun onto a baking sheet. This is the fun of baking. Get your fingers in it. Okay, right onto the sheet pan. Into the oven, 375 degrees for 45 to 55 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on the outside. And you know it's done when you tap on it, you hear a slightly hollow sound. And then I'm going to let it cool, and it's going to be so good for breakfast. Mm -hmm.